Hello. Hey, Pete. What's up? Hi. Hey. Uh, love the Dr. Klein show. Well, thank you. Uh, I told a lot of my friends about it, and thank you for ge- being such a good service to a lot of people. I appreciate it. I have a problem. All right. I have COPD, All right. and I'm on a lot of medication. I had a collapsed heart, and I've been reading about hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Using it food grade in a nebulizer. You're Can nuts. You give me your yeah. thoughts on it. I please, think you're sir. crazy. Okay, and here's why. Okay, hydrogen peroxide is a very, very strong oxidant. Okay, and we go out of our way to be giving people antioxidants. Now, in the lung in particular, okay, depending upon what your history is, and it can get really dicey, really tricky, real quick, but there's something called superoxide dismutase. Okay or sometimes known as SOD, much to the chagrin of our people that live in in Britain because they think that that's kind of a a disgusting abbreviation. I I tend to agree with them, okay? But superoxide dismutase protects the lungs from damage from oxidants, most notably hydrogen peroxide, triplet oxygen, and oxygen itself. To go ahead and to use hydrogen peroxide in a nebulizer is nuts. Okay, what you ought to be doing is taking anti uh, oxidants like N-acetylcysteine, that's spelled, uh, or the abbreviation is NAC, that will give you a great deal of relief. You can take glutathione, and then what you do is you look for those things that actually help you kick up something called surfactant. Okay, and rather than be looking at ways to kill yourself with hydrogen peroxide, my friend, I think you need to look at it just a little bit differently. 